Hello, welcome back to another home improvement video. We are taking out this light and putting in a motion activated security light. It also has a dusk to dawn feature. This is the light that's going in here and any hobos that come up and try to sleep on this porch are going to get lit up, blinded. They're not gonna wanna sleep here. We'll go to the next house that's got a little tiny dim light to go to sleep real nice. But this thing here, no hobo sleeping on this porch. This is the light, the sand C, sand Sai. I really need to learn how to pronounce this. Links in the description, coupon code in the description to get this light. I've got one just like it on my house and it is good. Lights the hobos up like you wouldn't believe. First thing to do is take down this rickety old gold light fixture. A lot of people ask about this speed screwdriver. It's a Klein screwdriver, it's reversible. I'll put a link for this screwdriver in the description underneath the link for the light. Get in there. That is really bright and it's still daytime but uh, tonight I'm coming back in the dark and I'm going to show you what this looks like when it's pitch black out. Uh, I'm going to show you how to adjust the settings on here right now. Yeah, right there is the mode switch. It's currently on test. Then there is auto. Then there is the on time. Oh and underneath it this gives you your range the time on and something else what does this one do oh yeah range time and lux what the heck is that what is this can you dial this in i don't know what the heck that means i'm gonna read the directions zero to eight lux i gotta read what that is all right i figured out what that lux control knob is for 
That, I believe, if I'm reading this right, is for your dusk to dawn setting. So you can designate how dark, like maybe you want the light to turn on when it's only pitch black, or you want it to turn on when it's just dusk and it's still light out. So that's the sensitivity of the daylight that triggers the sensor to turn the lights on. Uh, so it'll, there's a, a setting for the time that you want it to, when it gets triggered by motion and the range that you want it to get triggered by motion. Obviously you can tell there's traffic out here. You don't want this thing kicking on every time a car goes by. So you dial that range down so when someone goes by the sidewalk or starts coming up the, the walkway here, they get lit up. I'm going to just set this to auto right there. Now I believe this the auto even works during the day. There we go. So in a few minutes, well, a few sec, well, be an hour or so for me. Uh, but uh, right now it'll be nighttime for you. I'm real tired. Well, this looks like a lovely front porch to sleep on tonight. I wonder. Anybody's home. Oh, that looks real comfy there. Oh God, my eyes! My eyes run for your lives! I'm blind! I'm blind! I think we just had a hobo try to come sleep on the front porch. But as you can see, it's very bright. We got the range set so that cars don't trigger it. But hobos do. There's hobos in your yard or on your front porch. They will be blinded. Don't look at it. There's another setting, the dusk to dawn. I think I showed that before, the D2D. So that you can have this on all night long. No one will even try to look at your house. They won't even be able to stare at the front porch to even notice it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good evening. Keep those hobos off your front porch.